So this video is kind of a sequel video to my other face swap video because somebody in the comments asked about if it worked for non-white people and I tried it out and my method does not. So I'm gonna show a different method that does. And to do that, I'm gonna use Tyra Banks's face and LeBron James's head. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to Tyra Banks's face first and this is the face that we're gonna cut out. So just go to the lasso tool and make sure your feather is at zero and then just trace around her face. Try and stay within like her jawline and stuff. Uh, you know, like don't go over into the hair or anything. Just be as close as possible. It doesn't have to be a perfect selection, just something like that and go edit and then copy. Go over to the image that you're gonna paste it onto and then obviously just go edit paste. That's gonna bring in this new layer. Then go to your move tool up here or just go, go control T actually. And we are going to resize and place this where we want it. So I'm gonna scale this back up a bit and I'll just go over to opacity and drop it down a bit so we can kind of see through. And I've practiced with this one already. And what I learned from this one is the best way for me was to line up the lips and kind of this, like, cause he has this little like uh, beard thing here. So I need that to be right in line, this angle with her lips there. So if the eyes don't match uh, quite the same, it's okay on this one, it worked out just fine. So I matched the lips, the nose, and the eyes are pretty close. I mean, I'll just scale it down just a, a touch more. So once you get it lined up, so you wanna look through like to the eyes there, to the lips, get them all lined up. Once that's good, then just click check and bring your opacity back up. Then on this layer, you're gonna zoom in. So control plus to zoom in and you're gonna put on a layer mask. So this guy right here, that's gonna pop up like that. And you're gonna make sure you have a black brush. So you're gonna use the brush tool, make sure it's black in the foreground here. And you're gonna make the size, uh, you know, a reasonable size, kind of like this, maybe the size of like the eye and crank the hardness all the way up and make sure your opacity is all the way up. Then all you're gonna do is kind of trim out the extra bits. So I'm gonna make sure that all of LeBron James's like hairline and everything is showing through. Kind of go along here trim along the beard a bit. I don't have to go all the way through, but just kind of like around the edge like this. And so once you've done that, so the whole face is kind of inside LeBron James's face line here, then just click on the mask over here or right click, sorry, and then go apply layer mask. And that's just gonna make it so that it's just this one image again with no mask on it. Then we're gonna go down to this, the main LeBron James layer and go command or control J to make a copy. And then up here on this one, you're gonna hold control or command again, and you're gonna click on the face. So it's gonna make the selection around the face, but make sure you're still selected on this layer, okay? And then you're gonna hide the bottom one and then hide the top one. So the only thing that's left is that copy layer that we made. Then you're gonna go up and you're gonna go up to select, modify and contract and I'm gonna pick four, but really this depends on the quality of your image. This isn't a very high quality image, so I kept this pretty low. If you have a higher quality image, then you might have to turn this up a little bit more and click okay. At this point, it's not gonna look like anything really happened, but all we're gonna do is make sure you're selected still on this copy layer and just go backspace to delete the face out of there. And then now when we put the original face back in, you're gonna see that there's kind of like this overlap. So that contracted selection is gonna be inside the original like Tyra Banks face there. It's gonna be a little bit smaller. Then all we're gonna do is hold control and click on that layer of the original face. So we have the cutout face one copy of LeBron James and then the face of Tyra here, both selected. Then you're gonna go up to edit, auto blend layers and just make sure panorama and then these two things are selected seamless tones and colors to match the skin tones and then content to wear a fill transparent areas to fill in any kind of gaps that we have between the two layers and click OK and boom that's kind of the the basics there and you can see there's some transparent kind of random selection spots here so to finish this up all we're going to do is actually hide the middle two and bring our original LeBron James back plus the new one right here on the top one, just add another layer mask. If it comes up black, just go control I or command I to flip it back to white, make sure it's white here. And then we're just gonna use a brush again, make sure it's black in the foreground. But this time you're gonna drop the hardness way down and bring the size up a little bit. 
and drop the opacity to around like 20, 25%, somewhere in there. And you're just gonna use it to kind of clean up the edges. So just to blend it a little bit more. If it, I mean, if it blended nice, then you might not have to do this, but mine didn't quite blend. Probably because Tyra Banks' face is so smooth and LeBron James, like the image here was a little bit more pixelated. So I have a little bit of work to do to kind of blend these two. You might not even be seeing much here as I'm doing this, but I'm just kind of blending a little bit of the edges from this one. You can see it on the mask here. I'm kind of just erasing a little bit more along the edges to try and blend. So up here on the forehead, I might even drop this a little bit more so I can kind of do a few brush strokes here and kind of get some of that texture of the forehead of LeBron kind of shining through. And if I look down here, the beard is kind of blurry now. So I might actually crank this back up so that I can erase a little bit more down here and get a little bit of that kind of goatee little thing showing through down there so it looks a little bit better. So just go along the edges and keep adjusting your opacity and brush size until you've refined it the way that you want. And there you go. That's another quick way to do a face swap in Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.